In the previous video about the binder, we saw that clicking on a document in the binder opens it in the editor. But there are other ways of navigating around your Scrivener project so that the selection in the binder doesn't always match what is displayed in your editor. To demonstrate, I'll click through the first few chapters of our example project here, then press the back button provided in the editor's header bar. I'm now viewing chapter 2 in the editor while our selection in the binder doesn't seem to have changed. Chapter 4 is still highlighted over here in the binder. However, you'll notice that a secondary selection bar has appeared, highlighting the chapter we're looking at in the editor. This allows you to return to your previous place by clicking the selection in the binder and means the binder doesn't jump around when you're navigating using the editor, but you can still see where the current document is. If you want the binder to select the document you're currently looking at in the editor, hit Control Shift 8, which is the keyboard shortcut for Reveal in Binder from the Navigate menu. Scrivener allows you to split the editor so you can view two files side by side. It's possible to navigate between documents in either editor by using the binder, but right now only the editor which is in focus will be affected by what you click on in the binder. You can tell an editor is in focus when the header bar appears blue, and that can be changed simply by clicking in the other editor. As you can see when I click on an item in the binder, it's opening in the editor with the blue header. You can also shift focus between editors by using Control Tab, allowing you to quickly switch focus to the right editor, select a new document in the binder, and switch back to the left editor to continue writing in your original document. Alternatively, by going to Navigate, Binder Selection Effects, you can tell Scrivener to open documents in the editor which isn't in focus. For this next demonstration, I'm going to switch it back to affecting the current editor. You can even prevent an editor from being affected by the binder at all by right-clicking on the document icon in the header bar and choosing Lock in Place, or using the keyboard shortcut Control shift l to lock the editor which is currently in focus. The header bar turns this orangey-pink colour, and now any selection you make in the binder will not affect this editor. We can click on the other editor to bring it into focus, notice the header turns blue, and binder selections will affect this editor. This doesn't mean you can't make edits in the editor you've locked in place though, you can click in here and type as normal. So, as you can see, the binder and editor can interact in a variety of ways. That's all we need to cover in this video. If you want a closer look at any other features of Scrivener, our other videos and guides should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching, and happy writing!